Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, in the meshless name of Yahoshua Mashiach, this is Yahweh's servant, Reginald M. Graham, and we're delighted to be able to come to you once again with another message from the word of Yahweh. This is Come Out of Her, My People broadcast with your host, Reginald M. Graham. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm just a voice crying in this end time wilderness preparing the way of Yahweh, making straight paths for our Messiah, Yahoshua Mashiach. The Bible tells us in the book of Matthew chapter 24 and verse 14 that this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness to all nations and then shall the end come. Apostle Paul said in Romans 1 and 16, For I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Mashiach, ladies and gentlemen, for it is the power of Elohim unto salvation to everyone that believes, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. Well, once again, ladies and gentlemen, we thank Yahweh for you tuning in with us with another message from the word of Yahweh. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're not going to prolong the time. We're going to get right, amen, into our message. The spiritual state of our world is absolutely deplorable. Christianity is unraveling at the seams. The Christian church have been invaded with scandals. Just recently, a Mississippi pastor a Mississippi Baptist pastor shot his wife twice before their three small children in a hotel lobby, then turned the gun on himself. Fortunately, they both survived. This incident occurred because the pastor's wife threatened to divorce him, ladies and gentlemen. I knew this young man personally. You have pastors being caught cross-dressing. Pastors are molesting their underage congregants, boys and girls. Pastors introducing children and their congregations to sex toys. Others have been exposed having sexual relationship with numerous of women in their congregations. Many pastors recently have been exposed having same-sex relationships. Pastors and their wives have been exposed recently for sex trafficking and running prostitution rings out of the church. Some pastors have been exposed for selling illegal drugs and weapons. Pastors are leaving their wives for younger women Churches are installing pastors in their pulpits, knowing that the pastors have been in several adulterous relationships. Ministers are behind bars for embezzlement and scams, stealing money from widows and, and the elderly in their congregation. What a shame, ladies and gentlemen. Many of these ministers are narcissists, control freaks. You have cult leaders ordering hits ordering hits on their former members, trying to kill their former members, ladies and gentlemen, and impregnating, uh, impregnating underage girls. Here recently in Kenya, Africa, a pastor persuaded over 300 of his members to starve themselves to death, and others were murdered. For the last... Uh, for the last three months, 340 bodies have been dug up in shallow graves. And authorities believe there are more bodies to be retrieved. Your children are not safe in these places of worship today. It is a sad day in this world when your children are not safe in the house of worship. Many pastors and church leaders are predators lurking for their next victim. People are leaving churches in the droves, by the droves, ladies and gentlemen. You can understand why people are leaving churches by the droves. To never return again. The memberships of, 
of the Christian church have decreased over 50% in the last 15 years. Christianity is a fast dying religion. People have no respect for pastors today in these end times. Evil pastors have ruined the reputation of, of the very few decent pastors left today. You are better off to stay home than attending a place of worship in these end times. Christianity is corrupted from the inside out. First of all, you will not find Yahweh nor any truth in the Christian church. You will not find Yahweh's people in the traditional Christian church or in organized religion, ladies and gentlemen. Yahweh have a, 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 an underground assembly. The underground church or assembly consists of remnant believers gathered together through a structure of small groups meeting in homes or in untraditional structures. Ladies and gentlemen, now if Yahweh is taking his remnant assembly or remnant church back to, ladies and gentlemen, the original uh, foundation of the primitive church, the first century church. The Bible tells us they went from house to house, breaking the bread and fellowship and in prayers. But today, the traditional church, steep on it, uh, brick building, um, uh, with a sign out in the front, ladies and gentlemen, a large parking lot. That's, 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 you, you're not going to find Yahweh's people in those establishments, ladies and gentlemen. Many people have been institutionalized, and ladies and gentlemen, they will not leave, ladies and gentlemen, organized religion, ladies and gentlemen. The remnant assembly, assembly refuses to be corrupted by false teachings traditions, customs, and dogmas of organized religion. As I said before, there is an underground church. An underground church. They're not recognized, ladies and gentlemen, because they meet in homes, small structures, ladies and gentlemen. It's just a remnant of believers that come together. Uh, it's not that they, it's not traditional. They don't have a traditional building, sign out in the front, parking lot, Ladies and gentlemen, steeple on the church, glory to Yahweh, uh, a choir, and all of these things. Uh, uh, they don't have it, ladies and gentlemen. The glory of Yahweh have departed the Christian church many decades ago. But Christians are not aware of it. Just as Samson did not know that Yahweh was departed from him. Judges 16 and 20 declares, and she said, the Philistines be upon thee, Samson. And he awoke out of his sleep and said, I will go out as at other times. That's what he thought before and shake myself. And he wished not that Yahweh was departed from him. Samson did not know that Yahweh had departed from him. He said, I'm going to shake myself like other time. He shook himself, but there was nothing, ladies and gentlemen. And the Philistines came upon him and they uh, pierced his eyes out, ladies and gentlemen. Christianity have the name Ichabod stamped in its forehead. 1 Samuel 4 and 21 declares, And she named the child Ichabod, saying, The glory is departed from Israel. The glory of Yahweh have departed from the Christian church. Many decades ago, Matthew 7, verses 17 through 20, Yahoshua declared, Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewed down and cast into the fire. Wherefore, by their fruits ye shall know them. To understand what kind of tree Christianity is, we must examine its fruit. 
And we have Christian pastors caught up in all these scandals today. One can imagine what's happening among the laity. Generally, the pastors have better morals than their congre congregants, ladies and gentlemen. Look at the fruit of Christianity today. We have pastors involved in sex scandals, same and opposite sex, pastors raping and molesting children, pastors embezzling, ladies and gentlemen, and stealing from the church and from widows and elderly, prostitution rings, ladies and gentlemen, uh, and sex trafficking, ladies and gentlemen, taking place right in the church, the pastor and his wife, ladies and gentlemen, glory to Yahweh. It's ridiculous. It is ridiculous, ladies and gentlemen, the things that are taking place. Pastors shooting their spouses and themselves. Pastors impregnating several women in their congregations. Others are in prison for various crimes. Others exposed for cross-dressing. Pastors persuading over 300 congregants to go without food and water for the rest of their life in order to meet Jesus in heaven. Even many were forced not to eat. And the authorities in Kenya, Africa have already recovered 340 bodies found in shallow graves and they expect more bodies to be found. Perhaps the most popular pastor here in Kenya. He has tens of thousands of followers have been connected to this pastor. Now the authorities have found that he has been connected to this pastor who is responsible for the death of 340 people. The pastor who have been connected to this pastor who uh, is responsible for the death of 340 uh, people, ladies and gentlemen. The authorities found a large amount. Now, this is the pastor that's connected with the pastor that uh, that is responsible for the death of 340 people. Many of these people was forced to die, forced to fast, forced to go without food and water, ladies and gentlemen. Um, now, this pastor that was connected, Ezekiel, Prophet Ezekiel, everybody believe he's a prophet, he's a false prophet. The authorities found a large amount of illegal drugs and weapons in his home. What is he doing with illegal drugs and weapons in his home, ladies and gentlemen? Now, this is why people don't have no respect for any pastor today. Ladies and gentlemen, Christianity is a mockery. They have brought a reproach on those that are striving to serve Yahweh, ladies and gentlemen. Yahoshua had to deal with the same things that we are experiencing today. The few good pastors, ladies and gentlemen, Yahoshua had to deal with the same thing. You know what Yahoshua said? They that came before me were thieves and robbers. Yahoshua had to contend with all these thieves and robbers that was before him, ladies and gentlemen, that brought a reproach on the people of Yahweh, brought a reproach on the faith, ladies and gentlemen. This is what's happening today. There is a reproach. Glory to Yahweh. People disrespect uh, 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 believers today. People disrespect preachers. Ladies and gentlemen, they have no respect for preachers whatsoever. Matter of fact, ladies and gentlemen, it was a time when people respected preachers. They gave them the utmost respect. But today, glory to Yahweh, uh, these women, these loose women, glory to Yahweh, that don't have no shame in their game, they say they like the preachers because the preachers are super freaks. They freaks. That the preachers today are, they more freakier than the men of the streets, ladies and gentlemen. It's no difference. Glory to Yahweh. They love the preachers because they say they're more freakier. Glory to Yahweh. People have no respect, amen, for spiritual authority today. Glory to Yahweh. The scandals in these end times 
are endless, ladies and gentlemen. Some may say this is just a few uh, bad pastors. Just it's a few uh, bad apples in the bushel. No, ladies and gentlemen. No, ladies. It's not just a few bad apples in the bushel. No, this is happening daily. I mean daily on a mass scale, ladies and gentlemen. Glory to Yahweh. And um, I'm just, I'm just, just bringing out a few of these scandals. Man, there are thousands of scandals, especially taking place, glory to Yahweh, in the Kojic, the Church of God in Christ. And you know the scandals that, uh, that people are familiar with that took place, that are taking place in the Roman Catholic Church with all the molestation of boys, ladies and gentlemen. But it's all across the board. It is all across the board. Christianity as a whole, ladies and gentlemen, uh, they, they're splinter groups from the Mormon church. And, uh, these pastors have 15, 16, 20, 30, 30 and 40 wives, ladies and gentlemen. Some of the, the this one pastor, ladies and gentlemen, uh, they found him with uh, wives, 10, 9 years old, 12 years old. He have an interest. Uh, uh, he having sex, ladies and gentlemen. He having sex with nine and ten year old children. He calling them uh, his wife, this Jeffrey guy. And ladies and gentlemen, uh, he went on the lamb. He was running. The authorities was after them, and they finally found him. And this man right now today, ladies and gentlemen, is running that cult. He's in prison, and he still is the pastor and have authority. Over that flock. Now let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. These preachers that's doing all this foolishness, these people, ladies and gentlemen, will allow these pastors back in the pulpit after doing all of this stuff. They will they'll be preaching somewhere else. They'll be preaching somewhere else, ladies and gentlemen. Glory to Yahweh. The, the, the uh churches pacify these false prophets, they pacify these wicked men, these evil. Men, these corrupt men, they pacify them, ladies and gentlemen. If Christianity is good, why come it is bringing forth evil fruit? Christianity is bringing forth evil fruit. The reason why Christianity is bringing forth evil fruit, because this tree of Christianity and organized religion is corrupt. The Christian church will soon be hewed down and cast into the fires of hell, ladies and gentlemen. Isaiah 1 verses 5 through 6 declares, The whole head is sick and the whole heart faint. From the sole of the foot even unto the head, there is no soundness in it, but wounds and bruises and putrefying sores. They have not been closed, neither mollified with ointment. The head, ladies and gentlemen, of the Christian church is sick. It has spiritual brain cancer. The spiritual leaders are sick today, ladies and gentlemen. And the heart of the Christian church have, have heart disease. And the valves and the arteries are clogged. Only a third of the heart is working. Two-thirds of the heart have already died. The heart is the laity of the Christian church, ladies and gentlemen. Revelation 3 and 1 declares, I know thy works, that thou hast a name, that thou livest, and art dead, ladies and gentlemen. Christianity has a name that is still living, but it is dead, false advertisement. Christianity today is false advertisement. You listen to me. It is false advertisement. You look at the names on these churches. Uh, Morning Star Baptist Church. Uh, uh, Temple of the Living God. It, the House of Deliverance. Ladies and gentlemen. Uh, uh, a City of Refuge. You see all these names, ladies and gentlemen? It's false advertisement. It ain't a place of refuge. It ain't a house of deliverance. It's not the morning, bright and morning star, ladies and gentlemen. False advertisement. 
This is all we see in today. False advertisement. Amen. Uh, they have a name. That's what Yahushua said to the church at Sardis. Declares, I know thy works that thou has a name that thou livest and are dead. Folks going all over the world, amen, to these false prophets, these uh, so-called revivals, these camp meetings, these crusades. And ladies and gentlemen, they traveling miles, they going, don't even realize that these places are dead. They're dead. They're not going to get nothing from Yahweh, though. These places are dead. Ichabob is stamped on the Amen. Church world forehead. Ichabod is stamped on the Christian church forehead, ladies and gentlemen. Why would anyone seek for the living among the dead? Christianity is dead. Christianity has died, ladies and gentlemen. From the sole of the foot even unto the head, there is no soundness in it. But wounds and bruises and putrefying sores, they have not been closed, neither modified with ointment. The Christian church is covered with open wounds, full of running blood, pus, and bruises. And these foul-smelling wounds have not been cared for, nor wrapped with bandages. Christianity today is a bloody mess, ladies and gentlemen. Ezekiel 22, verses 25 through 27 declares, There is a conspiracy of her prophets in the midst thereof. Listen to this. Like a roaring lion raving the prey, they have devoured souls. They have taken the treasures and precious thing. Boy, boy, if that ain't precise, they have, they have taken the treasure, the money, ladies and gentlemen. They robbing these people blind. They have made Yahweh's house a den of thieves and a house of merchandise. Look at what it says. They have devoured souls. That's what they're doing. They're destroying these souls. They have taken the treasures and precious things. They have made her many widows in the midst thereof. Boy, if this is not identical to these preachers today, I don't know what is, ladies and gentlemen. Verse 26, her priests have violated my law and have profaned my holy things. They have put no difference between the holy and profane. Neither have they showed a difference between the unclean and the clean and have hid their eyes from my Sabbaths, my goodness, and I am profane among them. My goodness, isn't that true? These preachers today, these Christian pastors have not, amen, put a difference between that which is holy and profane and clean and unclean, ladies and gentlemen. They have not shown people what sin is, ladies and gentlemen, because they are indulging and seeing themselves, ladies and gentlemen, there's no standard of holiness and righteousness. You can do anything today in these Christian church. You can live like you want to live. Uh, you can dress any kind of way, ladies and gentlemen. They observe pagan holidays, Christmas, Easter, Halloween, ladies, Valentine's Day, put uh, money on the, under the pillow for the tooth fairy. They celebrate birthdays with candles and cakes and uh, ladies and gentlemen and balloons and all this garbage and all of this stuff the origins of it is paganism like these are heathen practices ladies and gentlemen they don't keep the true seventh seventh day sabbath they don't observe the sabbath day they say it's sunday the first day of the week ladies and gentlemen look at the corruption the women they don't dress decent they have no uh, uh, a standard of dress code they, they dress indecent and uh, uh, provocative they don't wear head covers the men are clean shaven glory to yahweh it is a mess ladies and gentlemen that is taking place. And the preachers, ladies and gentlemen, 
uh, don't show the people the difference between the holy and the profane and the unclean and the clean, ladies and gentlemen. They don't make a difference. No type of standards whatsoever. If this is not almost identical to what we are witnessing today, I don't know what is. Then, ladies and gentlemen, in verse number 27, it says in Ezekiel 22 and 27, her princes in the midst thereof are like wolves, raving the prey to shed blood and to destroy souls to get dishonest gain. Today, the princes are the political officials, judges, lawyers, police chief, and etc., who most are corrupt, receiving bribes, destroying innocent people in prisons. How many people are being incarcerated, ladies and gentlemen, in prison, and they are innocent, did not even do the crime, and getting dishonest gain? The judicial system Ladies and gentlemen, in our world today is extremely corrupt. Yahweh pleaded for us today. Yahweh plead for us today, ladies and gentlemen, is to serve is to serve him, ladies and gentlemen, to come out from amongst the world. Yahweh's plea for us today is to sever ties with the Christian church. This is the plea of Yahweh. Yahweh is warning us to several ties, ladies and gentlemen, with the Christian church. Amen. Sever ties with the Christian church. Leave. Don't be associated, affiliated with the Christian church because it is completely corrupt, ladies and gentlemen. It's a tree that brings forth corrupt fruit. It's an evil tree that bringeth forth corrupt fruit. Yahoshua said you will know every tree by its fruit. Look at the fruit that Christianity is producing today, my friend. Look at the fruit that Christianity is producing today. Why? It is a corrupt tree, ladies and gentlemen. It is an evil tree that's bringing forth corrupt and evil fruit. Ephesians 5 and 11 declares, and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. Yahweh tell us don't have any fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. We should not fellowship with Christians. We should not fellowship with the Christian church. We should not fellowship with organized religion, church denomination. We should not have any fellowship with them. But we rather we should rather reprove them. Amen. Have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. That's what we need to be doing. Not joining hands with them, ladies and gentlemen. Make Making alliances with them. Amen. Being a part of them. Being affiliated with them. Being associated with them. But rather, ladies and gentlemen, reproving them. The Bible says in the book of 1 Corinthians 15 and 33, Be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt good manners, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all, we already know if you go amongst them, they will corrupt you. They will cause you to be as they are. You will be as they are because you will become a product of your environment, ladies and gentlemen. If you stay in a corrupt environment, you will become a product of that corrupt environment. 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 17 through 18 declares, Wherefore come out. From amongst them, and be ye separated, says Yahweh, and touch not the unclean things, and I will receive you. We must come out from among the Christian church and organize religion and separate ourselves from it because it is unclean. If not, Yahweh will not receive us. Verse 18 declares, and will be a father unto you, and ye shall be my sons and daughters, says Yahweh Almighty. If we come out 
from amongst them and be separated. And if we touch not the unclean things of the Christian church, then Yahweh declared he will be our father and we shall be his sons and daughters. Yahweh warned us in Revelation 18 and 4 to come out of her, come out of Christianity. Her is making reference to the Christian church, to organized religion, Christianity. Revelation 18 and 4 declares, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. Come out of her, my people. Why? Come out of Christianity that you will be not partake of her sin and that you re re not receive her place because her judgment is coming, ladies and gentlemen. She is going to be cast, hewed down, and cast into the flames of hell. In Revelation chapter 2 through chapter 3, Yahoshua declared to the seven churches, or assemblies in Asia Minor. He that have an ear, he said, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the church. Amen. I'm pleading with you today. This is a warning for you today. If you have an ear, hear, amen, what the Spirit is saying unto the church. What is the Spirit saying to to the church, come out of Christianity, come out of her, my people, that you be not partake of her sin, that you receive not of her plagues. This message, I understand, it is not for everyone. It's not for those who are playing church. This message is not for those that are not serious, amen, about their soul. This message, ladies and gentlemen, is not for everybody. It's for those that want to know the truth and, amen, that want to be saved. This message is for Yahweh's remnant. <coughs> it's very small remnant. For Yahushua says, straight is the gate and narrow is the way that lead us to life, and few be that will find it. But broad is the way, and wide is the gate that lead us to destruction, and many will go therein. Matthew chapter uh, 7, 13, and 14. Yahoshua also said, many are called, but a few, ladies and gentlemen, are chosen. It's just a remnant church. It's just a holy see. It's just a small group of people, amen, that's going to be saved in this hour. Yahweh is making up his few jewels, ladies and gentlemen. He's making up his jewels. And everybody is not going to be a part of this remnant church. I know this message is not for everyone because everyone have not been chosen. I realize this message is not for everyone because many folks, they just religious and they just playing church. They ain't for real. They ain't trying to uh, uh, totally submit to Yahweh. For the Bible says in the book of 2 Corinthians 5 and 17, if any man be in Mashiach, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away and behold all things have become new. I'm not preaching to you if you're playing church. This message ain't for you if you're a hypocrite, if you're a pretender. This ain't the message for you if you plan a man with your soul, if you still fornicated, if you still committing adultery, you still smoking, drinking, partying, clubbing, glory to Yahweh, praise the name of Yahweh, listening to secular music, using profanity, amen, in vulgar uh, language ladies and gentlemen. This message ain't for you. Glory to Yahweh. If you dress indecent and immodest, this message is not for you. This message is for those that want to truly amen, be saved. Glory to Yahweh. Revelation 18 verses 1 through 2 declares, and after these things I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power in the earth, was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, said, Babylon, the great is falling, is falling. Christianity is 
falling. Organized religion is falling. Amen. Roman Catholicism and Protestantism is falling. This is the system, ladies and gentlemen. This is her. Come out of her, my people, that you be not partake of her sin and that you receive not of her plague. Here in the book of Revelation, ladies and gentlemen, chapter number seven, verse five, it declares, and upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery Babylon, the great, the mother of harlots, and the abomination of the earth. This is Christianity. This is this Christian uh, uh, organized system, ladies and gentlemen, Christian uh, system. This is what we see here, Roman Catholicism and Protestantism. Amen. This Christian corrupt system, ladies and gentlemen. She is, amen, the mother of harlots and the abomination of the earth. Bless the name of Yahweh. And the Bible says in, in Revelation 18 and 2, And this angel, he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is falling, is falling, and it's become, listen to this, the habitation of devils. Christianity has become the habitation of devils. Look at all the scandals. Look at all the scandals. Pastors shooting themselves, shooting their wives before their children. Amen. Pastors, amen, uh, introducing children in their congregation to sex toys. Pastors, predators, lurking, ladies and gentlemen, on another victim, raping and molesting children in their churches. Pastors running prostitution, amen, a a amen, rings and uh, 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 sex trafficking right out of of their sanctuaries, ladies and gentlemen. My good pastors, amen, forcing people to die, ladies and gentlemen. Glory to Yahweh. Pastors, glory to Yahweh, with illegal drugs and, and, and weapons in their homes, ladies and gentlemen. Pastors, glory to Yahweh, amen. We see these things. They are in prison for various crimes. Pastors, ministers today, ladies and gentlemen, look how corrupt, amen, Christianity has become. She is the habitation of devils. Now, if you know if the religious leaders, the pastors, the head, amen, is like this, what about, amen, the tail? What about the heart? What about the soul? What about the laity? If they are, what about the the scandals that's taking place among the laities, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Satan is sitting back laughing. He's rejoicing when he's seeing what's happening in Christianity today because he thinks this is going to hinder a man to move of Yahweh. It's going to hinder people from coming to Yahweh. Well, it may hinder them, but it ain't going to stop them. Ladies and gentlemen, it will not stop them, glory to Yahweh, from coming to the truth. Amen. Uh, Babylon is falling, is falling, has become the habitation of devils and the whole of every foul spirit, friend. Every foul spirit you can imagine today, amen, is in the Christian church. And a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. This is why we should come out of the Christian church. 2 Peter 2 and 18 in my closing declares those that were clean escape from them who live in error. Listen to that. Those that was clean escape from them that lived in error. I'm so grateful that I was, I was clean. I was one of the clean. Remember Yahushua told his disciples? He said, I've chosen 12 of you, but one of you a devil. And he said, and all of you are not clean. He was talking about Judas Iscariot. Judas, Judas was not clean. Ladies and gentlemen, Judas went to hell, ladies and gentlemen. Judas betrayed Yahoshua. Judas hung himself. He committed suicide, ladies and gentlemen. He wasn't clean. Listen, everybody ain't clean. Everybody ain't clean, ladies and gentlemen. But those that was, a, that was clean escaped from them that live in error. If you have escaped the Christian church, organized religion today, Amen. It's because it's an indication that you are clean. You have been ordained to eternal life. You have been chosen 
amen, and Yahweh from the foundation of the world, ladies and gentlemen. Listen, if you are clean, you will escape these people that live in error. If you are clean, you will escape organized religion. Amen. The Christian church, you will escape Christianity, ladies and gentlemen, if you are clean. But many people have been institutionalized. You can't help them. They finish. They spoil. They've been institutionalized. It's bad to be institutionalized through traditions, ladies and gentlemen, through religion, through Christian. You ain't going to change them if you try. They are set in their ways, ladies and gentlemen. They've been galvanized. Glory to Yahweh. I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, you can't help them. Thank Yahweh that you wasn't one of those that have been institutionalized, that you escaped, ladies and gentlemen, these that lived in error. Listen, I, I'm telling you, every true believer start out, ladies and gentlemen, unless you're a child and your parents are already in the truth. You don't have to go through uh, the steps, amen, and the stages that we went through, but every believer goes through Christianity. Those that are seeking Yahweh, you will go through Christianity, but he will take you to different levels in Christianity because uh, in the Christian church, even though they are in error, ladies and gentlemen, some have more truth than others. So he will take you to different levels and to the place you get to the place to the pinnacle of Christianity and you escape totally and you get out. Because I went through the ranks of Christianity. Ladies and gentlemen, I started out Roman Catholic. Amen. Then non-denomination. Then Pentecostal. Then apostolic, ladies and gentlemen. And Yahweh took me up. Kept taking me, taking me, taking me. Then I came into the knowledge of the Sabbath. I came into the knowledge of the dietary law. I began to see a man that went, Yahweh never called women to preach. I, Yahweh revealed to me a women's head cover. Yahweh showed me that men shouldn't be clean faced. Yahweh revealed to me, glory to Yahweh, the true seventh day Sabbath. Yahweh revealed to me the dress code. Yahweh revealed, amen, glory to Yahweh, the these truths that I'm preaching to you today. And I'm so grateful. He, he, he revealed to me the, the sacred, the true sacred name. The true sacred name of our Father is not Lord and God and Jehovah. It's Yahweh. The true sacred name of our Savior and Master. Amen. It's not Jesus Christ. It's not Christ, ladies and gentlemen. But it is Yahoshua Mashiach. And I'm so grateful that Yahweh have opened my eyes and showed me this truth, ladies and gentlemen. For the Bible says in John 16 and 13, when he, the spirit of truth, truth come, he will guide you into all truth. May Yahweh bless you. We thank Yahweh for you tuning in with us once again with another message, amen, from the word of Yahweh. As I said before, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just a voice crying in this end time, amen, wilderness, preparing the way of Yahweh, making straight paths for our Messiah, Yahoshua Mashiach. I'm not in this thing for views, Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not trying to get subscribers on YouTube or views or what. I'm just preaching. Amen. The scripture says, woe unto me if I preach not the gospel. I preach, I let the chips fall where they may. Ladies and gentlemen, for the Bible say this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness to all nations. And then shall the end come. Well, ladies and gentlemen, in this hour we're living in, the gospel mostly is going to witness against people. It's not going to reach them. It's going to witness against them. So when they stand before Yahweh, this gospel will come back to them and be a witness against them, ladies and gentlemen, on the day of judgment. It didn't say, amen, this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world to reach the world. No, it said to be a witness, ladies and gentlemen. There's only a few that's going to be saved. Only Yahushua disciple asked him, he asked him, he said, Master, is only a few going to be saved? You know what Yahushua say? Seek to enter in at the straight gate. For straight is the gate and narrow is the way to lead us, amen, to life. And few be that will find it. 
Ladies and gentlemen, it's only a few. Bible says in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the coming of the Son of Man. If you do the math statistically, Noah only reached seven people. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not going to be many people saved in this hour. And I know it. For the Bible says that in the last days, they will not endure sound doctrine, but they would turn their ears from the truth and be turned unto fables. And we are here today. We are in those times that Apostle Paul prophesied that would take place. He said in 1 Timothy 4 and 1 that the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Then the Bible says in these end times they would turn their ears from the truth, ladies and gentlemen, be turned unto fables. And the Bible say they will speak evil of the truth. And the scripture said because they have not a love for the truth, Yahweh will send them a strong delusion that they will believe a lie and be damned. And my friend, I must say this. Unfortunately, Yahweh has already sent a strong delusion upon our world. And most of the people today, most Christians today, have a strong delusion. They will not be saved because they have not a love for the truth. And Yahweh send them a strong delusion that they might believe a lie and be damned. May Yahweh bless you. Yahweh's willing. We'll see you again. Glory to Yahweh on Friday evening. Amen. We're coming on. We're not, you, you won't see me. Amen. Seven days a week, no longer. We'll be coming on four days a week. We'll be coming on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. Now you, you, you write that down. Amen. Keep that a reminder, amen, with you, amen. We're not going to be ministering seven days a week. We're going to be ministering four days a week. And that, that's Monday, that's Wednesday, and that's Friday and Sunday at the same time. And may Yahweh bless you until next time.